So due to the fact that I'm having issues with my Zoom as well as my recorder, I had to go back to using, well, th this, using this. I'm just gonna have to put the filter over myself and do it later, which just takes more time depending on, but hey, I'm okay with it. Even more so to the point, what I actually wanted to talk about, I'm gonna title this Hurt Dogs Holler. And this is what I heard coming up <laughs> as the divesters were saying and putting out there about the backlash that a lot of black men were giving about the divestment community, as well as people like Ralph Richard Banks. Now more about Ralph Richard Banks later. However, I do want to point out that I'm also going to talk about the smoke show that Kevin Samuels made where he allowed a lot of women who were divestors and black women who had negative things to say about black men to come on to his show and defend their points. And this is my biggest issues with a lot of toxic feminist movements and a lot of toxic movements in general that when it comes time to prove their points, oftentimes they fail to do so or they do not want to do so. They want to challenge you but never want to be challenged. And oftentimes, rather than be held accountable or be held to the blade themselves, they'll use other movements. And in, in reality, every toxic movement is guilty of this. When you look at even the conservatives, they'll use the Hispanics, the Latinos, they're, they're using them now. This is 2022. They're using them now to pretty much act as their foot soldiers in place of where they've done with Native Americans that they've Christianized, as well as enslaved, enslaved African Americans. So yeah, they're doing nothing no different because they're bare and they're bare for a reason, but more on that later. So as I'm titling this Hit Dogs Holler, what do I mean by in particular that it's important to talk about the divestment community? Why should we give attention to this? Why should we talk about this in the first place? Well, we should talk about this in the first place, number one, because this is nothing new. What they're trying to do is give a fresh, well, coat of paint to an issue that's already happened and existed within the community, making it seem as something that's new. Not only am I against that, the bigger issue is that last time that black men in the community did not address this happening, a lot of black women were able to run with it and blame the black men for something that was not their fault. So it's important to talk about this because it, it, it was a missed opportunity years upon years ago. Now, getting to the nitty gritty of the situation, what a lot of black women are aiming to do is to make black men account before the missteps and issues in the black community that are part of the divestment community and the toxic black feminist movement. They like doing this because, well, let's be honest, if you look at the Americanized black women, they are in control of tribally, if we can say tribally, culturally, they're more in control of the community than the men. And this is reflected in what has happened in the past. In the past, there have been experiments done and the, just things of that nature where people have actually looked into what happened when money was given to the poor minority communities. And what it shows is a lot of women not only divorced their men, they used the fact that they were in households that was supplemented by the government to sustain their lifestyles, even having kids to do so. So the problem kind of persists from that happening. And a lot of women did say, a lot of black women did say who uh, participated in this lifestyle that they did not need the men. However, the birth rates is what hurts them. And it hurts them on this account as well when it talks about the divestment and the wrongdoings of black men in the community. The birth rates kind of hurt their conversations. Because at the end of the day, if certain things happen the way they're saying, then they should be able to prove it without redacting information. Instead, they focus more on marriage. Both the divestors, toxic black feminists, and Ralph Fridger Banks focus more on the marriage and community than the birth rates. More on that later, even again, but the reason why that is important in general is that sex and their control of sex is no different from votes. Sex is votes, and for them to control sex and still get these bad, these bad things happening in the community, for, for changes not to be made, and for us to not do better, and only specific people, and most known as black women, to do better business-wise, school-wise, different things, shows their failure in leadership in bringing up everyone. And, and that's the mark of a good leader. Good leaders can bring up and elevate everyone. It's not just about, do the women do good? 
Now, it's, it's popularized that the men should do better, but it's mainly so because naturally, men give. Anytime men do better, the community always does better in return. Whenever women do better, it, it's body, it's say so, you know, and it depends. Like in a single parent household, you would want a woman to do better. In a uh, woman on woman uh, household, you would want a woman to do better. However, that doesn't always mean naturally that it trickles down. And we see this time and time again. Uh, the communities that are stronger, oftentimes half the men as head. They're saying the black community is stronger and they try to use the black men's decision to detract from this. However, in a lot of these cases, when we go a lot further, we see the control of sex as well as the misinterpretation of certain information playing a huge part in this. In order to acknowledge uh, the wrongdoings or the misinterpretations and the information of black people, we first have to acknowledge, is, well, acknowledge mainly the main differences that have happened in that community versus other communities. And you would think with them addressing these issues, they would be able to do this, but they're not. Again, this is why Ralph Richard Banks focuses on marriages. This is why a lot of divestors focus on marriages, because it takes away from the fact that they control sex and they've made decisions with their bodies that have affected the black community in a negative way. But more of that later, I've actually learned that keeping these videos below 10 minutes is way more better. Uh, given the algorithm and how it works. Now again, this isn't to bash the choice of women who decide to date out because they're not seeing what they want. However, them blaming the men of the community because they've made bad decisions is not gonna fly. I'm gonna defend that, more or less because it's based in a lie. You know, do what you wanna do, but, but don't lie on people. Don't, don't, don't lie on people, that's ugly. I'm more concerned about my nephews and younger men who don't understand what's going on and all they know is they woke up and they're getting blamed for it. Nah, nah, that's what I'm concerned about.